Welcome back to my channel for data machine learning and tech career. In today's video, we're going to go over a more, a little bit more advanced SQL to help you understand your data with the Google Play Store app data that I got from online. And then also I'm going to use Excel to demonstrate how it's actually being done with a raw data and then, you know, showing you guys how to write it in SQL. So first, uh, let's look at a summary of like, you know, what is available in this data set. So you have app name category ratings and pot number of reviews and the size and like a, little, a bunch of like summarized uh, data about this uh, app and that uh, in this uh, query that we're going to focus on is like if you want to see a distribution of what the price ranges uh, for your for different apps and so you want to kind of do like a price cut like price buckets and a number of count of apps in that price bucket and it is in this example we're gonna go over you know if you want a price bucket at, uh, for every five dollars so it would be zero to five dollars five dollars to ten dollars and this is the price uh, column that we have and then this is the price bucket that we're gonna add to our data set so if we're gonna do a price bucket of every five dollars so zero to five five to ten dollars we first need to divide the price by five and so there are multiple ways of doing this in SQL. You can write a lot of case one statements to say case one price is between zero to five and then five. And then you can write that on forever until, I mean, you don't even know what the most expensive price point is, but that's a, just a very manual way of doing it. The fastest way if you can do it is that you do price divided by five and then you get a fraction like this. So you have like four ninety nine, three ninety nine, but they will all classify into the price dollar five bucket. So that you divide it by five and then you get a lot of fractions like 0 0.9, 0 0.7. And then what you do is that you sealing it. So sealing will uh, make sure that all the 0 0.2s and 0 0.9s will all be rounded up to one. And so when you have price of I five and then you have the ceiling of this, then you all get ones and this will be classified as two. And after you do that, so you have imagine like these numbers are going to be one, it's going to be number two. And then you after ceiling that you can multiply that by five, then you'll have this bucket of five dollars. So these are all you know categorized into five dollars. This is kind goes into ten dollar bucket because it's between five and ten and so you can do that by this formula in excel you do you know the the price divided by five and then sealing it to uh, no no decimals and then multiply by five so for example data set what we're looking at uh like what i said you can do a very manual case when statement to say uh you know if it's zero then zero dollars if it's less than five then five dollars and less than ten then ten dollars and then just like add it on forever and then uh you can use that as your price bucket or the fastest way without writing every case one statement because you can imagine how long this list will be if you have like ninety nine dollars a hundred dollars twenty dollars two hundred dollars then that's just, this list is going to go on and you're going to type forever and this is the faster way is that you can do price and divide it by the depends on what the bucket that you're trying to use like if it's every ten dollars if it's every uh, hundred dollars or so then you can do price divided by five sealing it and then multiply by five then it will give you the same result as the case when statement what i just shared is actually a very common interview question and also a very common way of like reducing you know manual typing in your qu query and so if you want to learn more about data please make sure you subscribe and then if you have any other like you know other tricks that you think is super interesting that you can also you know share with each other then uh, please do so so whenever i see a data set like this that has like you know, all the apps and the categories and then has a lot of like other you know like summarize metrics such as like oh what's the average star rating right now how many reviews they had these kind of data i really like to like look into you know uh the apps are not performing as well in each category and like what are the reasons of why they're not performing well and i want to do the percentile based on the category so that because some categories might just have higher star ratings compared to others and we don't like instead of just kind of draw a line of like okay three star rating or below is bad uh, it might be the nature of that category just has a lower star rating compared to everywhere else 
so that we want that's why we will want to use a like a percentiles rating based on the category and that's what i will use is that uh, i'll create like a kind of like another table to come up with like what's the 10th percentile of each category and then try to compare if you know if the if the star rating of this specific app is below or higher than the 10th percentile so if it's higher then i'm not gonna select this app for my the subset of data to do exportal analysis on and then uh, the second one is uh, below so we definitely want to take this uh, app and then understand why is it below 10th percentile so what i can do that is by checking what the category is if the category is equal to art and design then take all the star ratings uh, from the column and then calculate the 10th percentile and 0.1 is the equivalent to 10th percentile and 0.5 will be 50th percentile so uh, make sure that you are uh, aware of like you know what percentiles are using 10th is not just a straight straight up typing 10 so how you can do that in SQL is that you first create like a sub query of like for each app you want to calculate the 10th percentile of the star rating and you and, and I, I also added just a filter here to have like reviews greater than 10 so that we're not including apps that are like newly launched or barely has any users because uh, the star rating might be very skewed. Uh, so just adding that filter to kind of filter out those, uh, you know, small sample apps um, for our percentile. And then after you create that, uh, you can join it back to your original table and you can do it in a join because all the apps in your original table should be in this table since they are using the same table uh, data source. And you can do that by, you know, adding the or joining based on a table, uh, the app. So it's the app name and the percentile a table that you created the app and app name. And then, uh, you know, you added what where filter to check if the rating of the app is less than or equal to the 10th percentile so in this case you're going to be able to sample out all the apps that are below the 10th percentile so the second part about this for this da sample data is that it has apps and then the actual reviews that were written and if it's positive or negative or neutral or not sure and so what we can do is kind of calculate it like you know, what's the percentage of positive reviews that each app has? You know, what's the percentage of negative reviews each app has? And then kind of do like, you know, a percentage positive minus percentage negative to just get an idea if like overall reviews are for each app is positive or negative. And that'll give us a very good signal of like how, like why are, you know, these apps below star rating or so, like specifically from the actual reviews. So the first thing you want to summarize this table is to have, you know, your app and a knowing number, like number counts of negative NAs or neutral or positive, and then also grand total to kind of get an idea of, you know, how many uh, positives and negatives you have, then you can do percentage of positive and percentage of negative from there. So what you can do is that uh, in Excel, you will do it in a pivot table form. And I'm going to, you know, like, and then this seems very straightforward from pivot table. I'm going to show you how you can do it in so from our user reviews table, we saw there wasn't really uh, some sort of like ID to check if this review is unique or not. So we're going to just simply think of every single row of data is uh, one review. Uh, without any data quality issue and so you can uh, you know kind of like you can uh, count the number of positive and negative reviews by doing this in SQL is that you do a case when statement so every like a case when is going to scan through every single row and then check if the sentiment column is positive or negative and is positive then you're going to count that as one and then else everything else will be zero and then some sum all the rows up then you're gonna have that's how you get the positive reviews and then for negative reviews same thing you're gonna have a case one statement sentiment equals negative so it's scanning every single row for the sentiment column and if it's negative then you're counting it as one and everything else will be zero and then end it and then take a summation of that out give your negative reviews and from here then you can calculate a percentage of positive minus a percentage of negative 